Then Yosef could no longer control himself in front of all his attendants, and he cried out, Have everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Yosef when he made himself known to his brothers, and he wept aloud, and the Egyptians heard him, and Pharaoh's house heard of it. Then Yosef said to his brothers, I am Yosef. Does my father still live? But his brothers could not answer him, for they were terrified at his presence. Then Yosef said to his brothers, Come near to me. And when they came near, he said, I am Yosef, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed nor angry with yourselves for selling me here. For Yahweh sent me ahead of you to save lives. For two years the famine has been in the land. And for the next five years, there will still be no plowing nor reaping. Therefore, Yahweh sent me ahead of you to ensure for you a remnant on the earth and to save your lives in a great deliverance. So then, it was not you who sent me here, but Yahweh. And he made me father to Pharaoh and ruler of his entire household and ruler of all Egypt. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, this is what your son Yosef says. Yahweh has made me ruler of all Egypt. Come down to me, do not tarry. You shall live in the region of Goshen, and you shall be near me, you, your children and grandchildren, your flocks and herds, and all that you have. I will provide for you there, so that you and your household and all that you have will not become destitute, for there are still five years of famine to come. You can see for yourselves, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin can see, that it is really me that speaks to you. Also, Tell my father of all my honor in Egypt, and of all that you have seen, and you shall hurry and bring my father down here. Then he put his arms around his brother Benjamin and wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck, and he kissed all his brothers and wept over them. Afterward, his brothers talked with him. When the news was reported in Pharaoh's house, saying, Yosef's brothers have come, it was pleasing to Pharaoh and his officials. And Pharaoh said to Yosef, Tell your brothers, do this. Load your beasts and leave here to return to the land of Canaan. Bring your father and your families back to me. I will give you the best of the land of Egypt, and you will eat of the fat of the land. You are also directed to tell them, do this. Take carts out of the land of Egypt for your little ones and your wives. Bring your father and come. Do not be concerned about your possessions, for the best of all the land of Egypt will be yours. So the sons of Israel did as Pharaoh told Yasi. Yosef gave them carts, and he gave them provisions for their journey. To each of them he gave new clothing, but to Benjamin he gave 300 shekels, about 7.5 pounds of silver, and five sets of clothing. And he sent these to his father, ten donkeys loaded with the best things of Egypt, and ten female donkeys loaded with grain and bread and other provisions for his father's journey. So he sent his brothers away, and as they left, he said to them, See that you do not quarrel along the way. So they went up out of Egypt and came to their father Jacob in the land of Canaan. They told him, Yosef is still alive. He is governor over all the land of Egypt. Jacob's heart was stunned, and he did not believe them. But when they told him all the words which Yosef had said to them, and when he saw the carts which Yosef had sent to carry him, the spirit of Jacob their father revived. And Israel said, Enough! Yosef, my son, is still alive. I will go and see him before I die.